justice and courtrooms were often strangers. The men who had conquered the frontier considered themselves complete rulers of their hard-won empires. The law held otherwise. A United States Circuit judge needed three things to bring justice to this country. A law book, a horse, and a gun. The further west he got, the less he needed the book. I was headed west. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May the Lord keep thee and bless thee. May the Lord make his face to shine upon thee forever and ever. Amen. I don't know. Could be a preacher in that get-up. No, that's Thorne, all right. Wait a minute, Colonel. I was the first one to see him come into town. I think that's deserving of a drink. Uh, don't you think I should have a drink, Colonel? I have a horse outside needs caring for. You have to wake me. What a dream. Number 10, $2 a day. Hey, the fellow before you stayed over at the Bannerman Ranch. Oh, that's fine for him. I'm not the friendly kind. Oh, well, in that case, it'll be $2 a day in advance. And the horse? Another dollar in advance. Excuse me, sir. Take that back, you scoundrel, and give his honor the best room in the house. Number three there. Uh, please keep your money out of sight, your honor. You're Bannerman's distinguished guest, sir. The town or Mr. Bannerman? Well, sir, it's a mighty difficult to tell where one begins and the other leaves off. As for myself, sir, I'm Colonel Buck Streeter, at your service, sir. And I do hope that service can begin at the Bannerman Bar across the street. Do you work for Mr. Bannerman, Colonel? Well, sir, where legal counsel is necessary. In the main, I'm attorney for the United States government, sir. That's what I understood. I don't see how you keep the two jobs apart. Well, Room 10 is good enough. I don't want to live too soft. That might be bad for a judge. Well, sir, I'm afraid that's going to make Mr. Bannerman very unhappy, sir. Well, I didn't come here to make Mr. Bannerman happy. As a circuit judge, it's my duty to review the town records, to attend to any cases that may be awaiting court trial, and wherever I can, to strengthen or repair the foundations of law and order. Of course, sir. Now, in line with that, I might step across the street to the Bannerman bar to see if they're selling any liquor to the Indians. Well, good for you, sir. Judge, for a moment there, you had me up a tree for fair. <laughs> I didn't tell you to keep the change. Oh, oh, sure. I'll need it to pay for my own drinks. Isn't there a place in town that doesn't belong to a bannerman? This is Bannerman Town, Your Honor. Name's Bannerman, heart and soul, Bannerman. If it isn't Bannerman, it's Taylor or Kettering. Cousins, Your Honor. Family takes care of its own and its own affairs. You've got an immigration case, illegal entry. Well, don't the Bannermans take care of immigration? Well, that's government business, Your Honor. Where is this Joaquin Morales? I have him locked up. Bring him in. I'll make out the deportation. I notice a funny thing, Colonel. Every time there's a transfer of property or a dispute over property hereabouts, the amount involved never exceeds $499. That is a strange fact, Your Honor. Especially since the value of $500 or more would bring these cases under federal jurisdiction. Fortunately, sir, you are relieved of a heavy burden. Too bad it rests entirely on Mr. Bannerman. Okay, Morales. Si, senor. 
There's 300 acres, $499. 1,200 acres, $499. 750 acres, $499. Mr. Bannerman establishes the price, sir. Keeping it away from federal examination. Why, that is so, Your Honor. I suspect Mr. Bannerman has been very clever, sir. That's what I intend to point out in my report. Well? Si, senor. Illegal entry and so forth and so forth. First question, why'd you do it? Senor? Tell the West Kiara Sapea, por que usted cruzó la frontera? Porque mi mujer ha muerto. His wife died. No hay trabajo. No job. Este país es muy rico. He says this is a rich country. Además... Now, Your Honor, I wouldn't be one bit surprised if Mr. Bannerman could get this good man a job. Seems a pity you had to ride 60 miles. I wrote the government we didn't need a circuit judge here. We do real well by ourselves. Last item, population. 507. I hope the honor you don't plan to ride off without affording Mr. Bannerman the opportunity to extend the hand of hospitality. Well, this is dated last week. Well, population doesn't change much here, boss judge. It's changed in the last couple of days. There was a funeral yesterday morning. Not a resident, sir. He was a stranger. What was the cause of death? I beg your pardon, sir? What did he die of, this stranger? What was his name? His name, sir? His name was Morrison. He died of a gunshot wound. He was a clear case of self-defense, Marshal. That's what they told me. A case? Who tried it? <laughs> I didn't mean a case in that sense, Your Honor. It was a matter. Mr. Bannerman handled it very well indeed. Did he? Where's the record of the arrest? I didn't make an arrest. Why not? The judge, it was self-defense. Who did the shooting? Well, now, I suppose that would be young Tom. Tom who? Bannerman. The old man's son. He's only boy. I don't understand this, Marshal. There's been a killing in your town, and the killer's free. Your Honor, folks here are used to running their own business and tending to their own affairs. It's a frontier, sir. The garment of social conscience fits loosely, sir. I'm here to tighten it up. Bring in this Tom Bannerman. Uh, Your Honor, I don't reckon I could do that without a posse. Form one. Made up of his family? Or the men who work for them? You see how it is, sir. I see how it is. I'll tie it up for you, Mr. Hammer. Judge still in there? Yeah. General? Yeah, and the marshal. And they're talking about Tom Bannerman. Oh, say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's been awful hot today, Mr. Hammer, and, you know, the dust gets in a man's guts or something fierce. So I thought you... You've got to decide whether you're serving Bannerman or the federal government. Well, Mr. Hammer, sir, this is indeed a pleasure. Your Honor, may I present Mr. Arnold Hammer, the president of the bank. A Bannerman Bank? Hey, that's the only bank there is. Are you a Bannerman? Hammer, sir. Hammer. Related to them? No, sir. You had to think it over, though. What do you know about this killing you've had in your town? Killing? We don't have killings here. Well, maybe you call them something else. But Thomas Bannerman did shoot and grievously wound one Sidney Morrison. After which act said Sidney Morrison did languish, suffer, and die. That's a killing. Your Honor, you misjudged Tom. I take my oath he's not a bad boy. I haven't misjudged him. I haven't judged him at all. That'll take place at the trial. The trial, gentlemen. I happen to know there's never been one in this town, but a man's been done to death. And the law demands a search into the circumstances. I don't know what Mr. Bannerman's going to do about this. We'll hear from him. Hear man, Tom. Your Honor, 
Did you ever hear the recipe for making tiger stew? First, you catch a tiger. <laughs> he keeps moving it. Well, maybe it takes a man to hit a tiger that won't stay still. Here. Pretend this is your bridegroom puckering up to kiss you. <laughs> Amy Lee, that's no way to treat a nice, quiet bank president like Arnold Hammer. Then don't tell me to marry him. Mr. Bannerman? Amy Lee? Amy Lee, I sent you to that fancy school to learn you some manners. Lose what few you had. Hello, Arnold. Give your fiance a kiss. <laughs> Isn't that kind of dangerous? Yeah, a couple of bear cubs playing around are bound to get a few scratches. Where's that judge? I told you to bring him here for supper. Didn't seem like a good idea to invite him. He's looking for Tom. What do you want me for? Sid Morrison. You've been out in the sun too long. That Morrison business is finished. He says no. He wants you. Sounds real stiff neck. I couldn't reason with him. I don't know why I tried. Simple thing to me seems to be to go into town, explain how it came to be self-defense, let the whole thing blow over. <laughs> Amy Lee, I never said you were wrong about this fella. But who else is it to marry around here? You're local. If you marry her, she'll finish you off inside of two weeks. He's going to come here to my holdings, my town, and carry himself high, huh? Is it true he carries a gun? A judge? I didn't see it. I'm going into town and have some fun with him. You're going to stay here. I'm going to town. Tom! Are you afraid of this judge? No. But you heard a few stories about him, and you want cousin Tom to stay undercover. Tom's a fool. he make things worse than they are. What's worse than a bannerman hiding? You still say it was self-defense? Would I lie? Oh, you had plenty of practice. <laughs> if I may say a word, I shut will. up. All right, boy, take some men into town. Bring that judge back here for supper. Bring him back here? I aim to chase him down the road. You're going to bring him back here. We're going to give him the hospitality of the ranch. Show him why it pays to stand well with the bannerman. You bannermen stand above everybody. you sort of like royal line. I don't know why anybody should want to marry into it, Harold. It's a great responsibility. doing here, Tom? We better get back to the ranch. Where's this judge they talk so much about? Uh, there's reason to talk. You get out of town. Why, well, I've come here to ask him to put his feet under our table. Well, that's a fool idea. <laughs> Colonel, never call a bannerman a fool. Somebody will cut your wages. Say, I hope it'll be pleasant. Well, why shouldn't it be? Tom Bannerman's here. That's what I wanted, isn't it? Judge, I wish I could make you understand that boy. He's just a reckless, playful boy. Then you shouldn't be allowed to carry a gun. 
He's at the Bannerman Saloon, no. Just a playful boy. I should point out, John, that he's accompanied by several men from the ranch. Twelve is more than several, Colonel. That's what windows are for. Well, that's better. Judge your man of wisdom and perspicacity. No use tying them with the Bannermans. Let them tend to their own problems. Someday they'll realize the error of their ways. Colonel, a circuit judge receives very little pay. I understand a federal attorney draws even less. That's purely correct, Your Honor. It makes it easy for a man to choose sides, doesn't it? He's in town. Are you backing me? I'll tell you how it is, Judge. I've been around here too long to have much faith in anything. You go after him. When I see it, I'll back him. Now you gotta. How else anybody gonna tell the men from the boys? We'll manage. I'm glad you came to town of your own accord, Bannerman. It'll count in your favor at the trial. What kind of trial? You're under a charge of murder. It was self-defense. Are you this man's lawyer? I'm Sam Kettering. Oh, one of the family. You must be crazy in the head trying to come in here and haul away a Bannerman to jail. He's charged with murder. We'll decide the charge. In any event, John, I'm sure there's no cause to take the boy to the lockup. Now he's there. Whatever bail you said will be forthcoming. I'll decide the charge and the bail, and there'll be no bail. You're a hard nose, all right. They tell stories about you. I'm taking you to jail, Bannerman. They say you pack a gun. I don't see no gun. I don't want to turn this into a shooting. You'll have a fair trial with all due process. No. I like shooting. <laughs> all right, Judge. We know you're a tough hombre. Now let him go. The court's established a fact, Colonel. The prisoner who pleads self-defense doesn't hesitate to draw on an unarmed man. Jail's across the street. What do you want us to do, Tom? Shut up! What's the matter with you boys? Nobody takes a Bannerman to jail. His old man will tear it apart. If we let him. It's the first time since I put this star on I've been able to work at it. How does it feel? Lonesome. Son. Morning, son. Right, beautiful morning. Morning, Judge. I do trust you slept well, sir. I sat in my window watching the street. Well, no need to do that, Your Honor. This is the law abiding town. Well, reasonably law abiding. Where's the nearest telegraph office? Well, no. That would be Cottonwood, sir. That's 47 miles away. I've got to ask Washington to appoint a prosecutor. You do not, Your Honor. I anticipated the need, and I already attended to the matter. You did what? I sent a writer to Cottonwood yesterday, sir. 
He dispatched a telegram to our national capital. I already had the reply. I fully realize my new responsibility, Your Honor. And I'll rise to it in a manner that will be a tribute to Blackstone and our great and glorious Constitution. Sir. You work fast, Colonel. Well, I knew you couldn't ride to Cottonwood, Your Honor. Your prisoner might escape during your absence. I might have sent the marshal. Oh, it's a long and difficult ride, Your Honor. Who knows what accident might befall him on the way. Difficult country, Your Honor. Indians, outlaws, bannermans. Exactly. You think we might talk to those witnesses now, Your Honor? What witnesses? Why, the ones you saw Morrison pull a pistol on Tom? No, Mr. Prosecutor. I think we can dispense with those witnesses. Why? They could establish the boy's innocence, Your Honor. Isn't the prosecutor supposed to establish his guilt? Why, oh, Your Honor, I'm only interested in justice. So am I, Colonel. So am I. Good morning, Judge. Everything quiet? Just give him time. How are you this morning? You'll have breakfast in a minute or two. They're sending it over from the hotel. Is there a lawyer in town you want to hire? I'm going to ask you to sign a statement. When are you going to take me out and hang me? Oh, it's a little early to talk of hanging. The tree ain't been planted yet. We'll knock something together. I'm going to drag you behind a horse that ain't an inch of hide left on you. You won't fool with any bannermen until we get through with you. You'll be picking your hide off every rock and mesquite bush in the county! He's the one who can do it, too. He wants to kill a Mexican like that. Got mad. Over what? Mexicans spilled a pot of coffee on him. When was that? Oh, that was before my time. I guess he was about 16. Self-defense again? Yeah. And that's a funny thing about the Bannermans. Folks are always picking on them. Morrison's widow's still in town? Yeah. Next street over, last house in the line. Well, something new has come to town. His honor, I suppose. What a waste. Amy Lee Bannerman, Judge. Cousin. More like his guardian. He's such a fool, Judge. Good thing you're teaching him a lesson. Oh, I'm not teaching him. I'm bringing him to trial. Do you know where Josiah is now? I locked him in his room, so I could reach you first. If he rides in and Tom is still in jail, he will burn this town to the ground. Well, it's a serious crime. I'd have to arrest him for it. Josiah? <laughs> first of all, you couldn't. Second, this town is ours. No, that's a state of mind, Miss Bannerman. The town belongs to the people, and laws have been written to protect them. And you're the great big champion who's going to see to it, whether they want protection or not. No matter what they say, they usually want it, Miss Bannerman. Amy Lee. If the prisoner's family wants to see him, they can have five-minute visits. Well, he's human. Uh, one at a time, at a distance of five feet, nothing passing from hand to hand. Miss Bannerman? I pity his wife. He's the kind who would have one, and well broken, too. Probably nine children all afraid of him. He didn't say. Sid was good to me. He never raised a lot of dust, but I know about that when I married him. I married him because... because he was Sid. It was about the only thing he could do well, braid rawhide. He was always braiding, even when he walked. He knew how. I'd like to buy some of this. I could use a new bridle. You don't have to feel sorry for me, Judge. I've got money, enough to get home on. Where's that? Pennsylvania. Anyway, that's where my folks are. Sid and I, we never had what you'd rightly call a home. We just drifted. Sid always laughing and saying someday he'd find a gold mine. We'd start a cattle ranch or something like that. 
He laughed a lot, that Sid Morrison. He wasn't much of a troublemaker, was he? Sid? Even out here, he wouldn't carry a gun. They say that he did. They say that he used this, but I never saw it before. I don't see how he could have had a gun and me not know. How'd you come by it? They brought it to me after... A lawyer. His name was Colonel Streeter. He brought it to me with some money from Tom Bannerman's father. Like I said, enough to get home on. Old Bannerman paying your way home? They said they didn't want me on the town. What was the fight about, Mrs. Morrison? The trouble between Tom Bannerman and your husband, what was it about? How could I know? We'd only gotten to town a couple of days before. Everything seemed to be all right. Did your husband know Tom Bannerman before? No. Did you? No. I'll have to take this with me. I don't care. There's going to be a trial. I don't care what you do. Did Tom Bannerman bother you? Did he? I don't want any trouble. If you tell this to anybody, I'll say it's a lie. Even under oath? It's a lie. the shooting take place? I didn't see it myself, Your Honor. Somewhere near the edge of town. I can ask the marshal. I want you to tell me. It's a small town. Which edge? That's the corral, sir. Show me. I understand young Tom Bannerman is not exactly bashful with the ladies. Well, sir, as a former expert in matters concerning the ladies, I see he does right well, sir. I don't like what you said. I said it was a hot day. But I don't like the way you said it. Go ahead. <laughs> Colonel? A mighty unusual judge, sir. A very unusual prosecutor. Nice town, Yano. Folks get to like you here. Bannerman folks? Oh, they are just about like other folks. Like doing things their way, that's all. Man like you could settle in this town, get elected year after year. Might even be sent to our national capital, sir. But Bannerman's back in me. Yes, Your Honor. I'll ask him about that when the trial's over. Who lives there? Oh, nobody of any consequence, Your Honor. Colonel, a man has been killed. A fellow named Webb has that house, sir. Best gunsmith Bannerman ever had, Your Honor. Lives alone? Well, he has a daughter, sir. Mighty fetch from Philly. I'll see you later, Colonel. Well, I go with you, sir. Of course, Your Honor. What are you going to say? I don't have to say anything. I think you do. There's a right thing and a wrong thing. Don't preach to me, Dad. 
I'm only saying what you already know. There's right and there's wrong. And when you see the difference, you just got to speak up. That's out of books. People don't live that way. No. Tom won't ever marry you, dear. He just won't. How do you know about that? Oh, honey. Good morning, Judge. Mr. Webb? Yes, sir. You recognize this gun? <laughs> well, a fellow like me handles so many guns for so many folks, it's kind of hard to say. A fellow like you sitting here all day could have been a shooting. Come in, sir. Please stay. My daughter, Judge. I saw it. Dad. But I saw it. I couldn't hear, though. I, I don't know what they said. Was Morrison armed? That I can't say. Did you see it? Miss Webb? Well, no. No, not the first shot. I heard it, and came to the window just as Tom fired again. Did you see Morrison holding a gun? Well, he was, he was down in the weeds. He was already finished, but Tom fired again anyway. I'll tell you something else, Judge. I was gonna lie to you. I was even gonna call my father a liar because, because Tom had promised to marry me. It isn't easy for a girl to find a husband out here. It's not like back east. The few men that are here, well, they all bow down to the Bannermans like the Bannermans were kings. Will you repeat what you told me at the trial? except Tom Bannerman, and he's losing his voice. A little business to tend to out of town. Won't take very long. Be back before night. Why? Aside from the accused, I haven't seen a Bannerman, a Kettering, or a Taylor all day. I think they're holding a powwow. Awful hot weather for arguing. My horse left me. He threw me and ran away. I'll take you back to town. Why aren't you back at the jail guarding my cousin? Nat Bell does all right. Judge, you better take me home. So you can get a horse in town. You're running like this with a bannerman snuggling up to you? <laughs> Your Honor. The prosecutor will make you disqualify yourself.
You're staying for supper, I hope. I don't think so. Well, I do. Come in. Please come in. What's this? The gathering of the clan. Come on, they won't bite you. She brought him here, Amy Lee. If I had a son like her, I'd turn up my toes content. I don't think you have met everybody here, Judge. Uh, this is my uncle, Josiah Bannerman. Don't tell him who I am. He has a sense to know who I am. Sit down, Judge. Have a drink. Let's be fresh. I'd like to know the names of all my new friends. What's he, a cousin? Oh, brother-in-law, Chester Taylor. The Taylors, the Ketterings, the Bannermans, the whole clan. And I hear marrying into it. I certainly hope so, Judge. I certainly hope so, Judge. Don't you know? Talk up! Doesn't seem that Miss Amy Lee's made up her mind. Didn't seem Miss Amy Lee made up her I mind. I she wouldn't repeat whatever I say. Go get me some cigars. Every time he opens his mouth, a fool looks out. What have you got against my Tom? Speaking as a private citizen or as a judge? You can forget that judge part. You ain't judging any bannermans. Well, then, speaking as a private citizen, I don't like it. Well, that's straight out. What have you got against him as a judge? Well, I'm sure the prosecutor must have told you that. This is an odd place to find him, but since he's here... Merely in simply investigating circumstances, sir. I've always been a staunch believer in thorough and careful preparation. Yeah, he's a windbag. Can buy and sell men like him every day. Anxious to get on in the world, please everybody. Warm your chair before you set it. No, no, Mr. Bannerman, sir. Now you, I couldn't buy you, could I? You haven't made me an offer yet. I could make you some, but bust your britches. You know what I own around here. A man can't ride across it in two days. And all the people I got that counts is Amy Lee and that one boy. No one else counts. They do what I say. But why shouldn't they? Where would they be if it wasn't for me? I took this land. I made it mine. And you know what I started with? With nothing. I was a boy when I started. I was laying out here, right there where you're sitting. A 13-year-old boy with my ma's body across me and an engine arrow out of her back. And nobody alive but me. And I said right then, this is mine. This whole piece of country's mine. My ma's blood's in it, like it's in me. She give it to me, the land. And I got away. When I was grown, I come back and I took it. What's good here is good cause of me. If anything's bad, that's cause of me. And I'll fix it my way. You can't come in here, mister, and tell me how to run my land. Not with law, not with soldiers. I got men can handle guns, too. You got a son who's too sudden with them. I'll whip him until he can't stand. But I won't let any other man whip him. You'd do better to get him a good lawyer. He won't need one. He will at the trial. He won't need one. You heard, Mr. Kettering. Amy Lee? Excuse me. Maybe they will. They don't intend there'll ever be a trial. Well, come sundown, I think we'll have trouble. Not if we can run from it. I'm taking the prisoner to Cottonwood. Oh, yeah? Judge, you won't get very far. As far as an honest jury, as far enough. How strong are you for telling your story in court? 
Well, we've been talking some about that, figuring things out. It's sure we won't be able to live here afterwards. I don't want to live here anyway. I've had enough of it. Are you willing to go to Cottonwood to testify? When? Tonight, undercover. We wouldn't come back here? Well, what about our things? I've got some curtains I brought all the way from Boston. I don't know why you had to come here in the first place. Everything was fine till you came along. You do what you have to do. We'll wait for you on the Cottonwood Road about two miles out of town. I'll try to talk the federal government into replacing your curtains. Quite a crowd tonight. Sizable, sir. Sizable. I hope they're in town tomorrow so we can draw on them for a jury. Tomorrow, Judge? Why, sir, by tomorrow. Well, what about it? As the poet says, Your Honor, there are determined men who act by night. Thanks. On. I see you're carrying a gun under that coat. You've got sense enough to know you can't do that unless you're ready to use it. I know. You don't mind seeing blood? I do, Judge. I've been seeing it all my life. I can smell it right now, just from talking about it. I'd like to spend the rest of my days never seeing it again. Now, why don't you sit down here, Judge, have a drink, and let you and me talk this thing over like sensible men, huh? That would leave the marshal alone at the jail. I didn't knock either. What did your horse do this time? He's a mean animal. I didn't want to come, but he brought me anyway. Why? Close the door. Did the clerk see you come up? He may have. He's the talkative kind. What do I care about clerks? I cared more I might never see you again. Did it bother you too? How could you walk away from me? Why did you leave the branch? I was angry. Why? I knew it was all a trick. Your horse hadn't thrown you. How could you tell? You didn't have any dirt on you. You looked me over? Carefully. Thanks for what you were thinking. How did you know what I was thinking? I could tell. You're engaged to Arnold Hammer. Not anymore. Since when? Since you kissed me. It isn't gonna work. What won't work? What about all the others? What others? Josiah Bannerman, Tom Bannerman, Kettering, Taylor. Oh, all the Bannermans. Let Tom out of jail and the whole thing is over. Better than over. Josiah thinks you're the best that's ever come to town. He said when you let that... What's the matter? You're a Bannerman, all right. What does that mean? You'd stop at nothing to save your cousin. <laughs> Whoop. 
compare. Whoop, just a minute. Where are you going? Tell me now, where are you going? Who wants to know? Oh, old Bannerman, he wants to know. Listen, I'm supposed to tell him anybody that goes in and out of that jail. Why did they pick you? Because they can depend on me. Look, because you wouldn't suspect me. You wouldn't want him to put somebody out here that would suspect me, would you? Why, that would be hypocritical. Well, now, look, why don't you come in the marshal's office and watch me in a nice, comfortable chair? Because I don't need a chair. chair. Maybe there's another jug in there. I don't care. Hey, maybe there is. Let's go see. I've given that fool judge enough time to change his mind. Go get calm. And no gunplay. What? You'd like to go on a scalp hunt, wouldn't you? You kill that judge and there'll be another fella just like him snooping around to see what happened. And after him, another and another until they tramp down all the grass. We don't want him killed. Just from discouraged. Go on. Somebody get a key. Ah, uh, they wouldn't leave it around. But we need us a blacksmith. Looks like there's something the matter with you. Huh? Oh. Well, they took Tom away. I've been thinking too tame. All right, boys, get your rifle. Place. Oh, Webb! Vince Webb? And his daughter. What have they got to do with this? Witnesses, they saw the shooting. Well, well, we're getting to be a nice-sized party. Maybe now we can pick up a fiddler and have us some wedding music. Leave her alone. Who's gonna leave you alone? How far do you think you'll get? Cottonwood? Mm. 47 miles. We'll make it. I don't know about that. Get back in that saddle. Judge? I'm tired of riding. A man ought to walk once in a while. And get back in that saddle or you come into Cottonwood across it. Let's talk about it. Judge, he looks to me like a prisoner trying to escape. He has all the earmarks. You can't shoot him. That's no better than he did to Sid Morrison. Why don't you button your lip? behind us. There's going to be shooting. I want protection. I am a prisoner. Shut him up. They're ahead of us now. You worried, witness? Look, there's a cut through them hills. Ain't much good for night riding, but it'll save us 30 miles. Where'll it bring us out? Down on the plain with Cottonwood a mile away. We'll take it. I know that trail. We'll end up over the side of a cliff. appear to be a soul down there. there. Used to be plenty of room in them trees to hide engines. Thorn doesn't stand to cover, he moves. You like it. I didn't go by here. How could he know that? What do you think, Sam? Well, if he took the other road to Seven Pines, Taylor's likely bringing him in right now. 
They're headed for Cottonwood, where we don't stand so high. But have them pass by here. You reckon Bell knows about that fool trail through them canyons? If he does, Stone would take it. Then we've got it. Sam, I want every man in from the rain. You go on into town and bring Taylor and his boys. We're going to free this judge. We'll close up both ends of that canyon trail, and if he gets by us in there, we'll be waiting for him on the plains. Joe, take some boys and ride this road. You come with me. I'll go back with Arnold. I said come with me! And I heard you! Fool women! This is real nice of you, Amy Lee. I didn't expect... Well, you know. Oh, don't expect anything, Arnold. Do as you were told. I don't understand. Seems to me that every time we're alone... Do as you were told. All right. Why don't we forget about getting married, Amy Lee? I don't know what you want, but it isn't me. this horse. He's right. A man can't ride that trail with his hands tied. And supposing I want to put a loving arm around this sweet, cuddly girl here. We got to keep the witnesses warm. Judge, let him ride the inside of the trail. I'll keep him from the fall. I think he's looking for us. If he is, he's sure going to catch up. You best danged hombre in the world. How'd you figure it? What are they doing here? Witnesses, he says. I thought Tom had his brand on you. Until we saw him kill Sid Morrison. You turn real fast. Never make a bannerman. You might as well let him go. You can't make it to Cottonwood. We can try. Not by this trail. Just size at the other end. I hope you'll be reasonable. Keep an eye on Miss Bannerman. You've come this far. Why turn back? <laughs> Take a breather. Do you believe the old man's waiting for us? He'll be there. Bannermans take care of each other. That's their strength. Is there any water? The judge has a canteen. I'll get it for you, Miss Bannerman. Get me out of this. First chance I see. And see something's done about those witnesses. How'd they get into this? Morrison saw me hankering after his wife, and he wasn't man enough to call me on it. He ran to snitch to her. I had to gun him down. Had to? Sure. I'll give it to him. Could I have some? Sure, go ahead, witness. I'll have to kiss on it for you. Then I'll do without it. <laughs> Get down. 
You take care of her. bound to do this. What's in it for you? Man believes in a thing and he goes ahead. Like your reason for trying to make me quit. I could see you hurt or killed if you didn't quit. That was my reason. It never crossed you a hundred times to keep your life. Well, it looks like we've come to cotton. Yet. Where the old fuck? I told you. It's a faraway trial. You got your heart set on, Judge. Shall we back up in the canyon and make a stand? They come from that way, too. Stay on your horse. <laughs> High his feet. I'll quit it, will you? You're done. I'll talk to you in the courtroom. You were riding back with Arnold Hammer. I made another choice. What's she doing with my son? Oh, witness. Claims she saw the shooting. It's a lie. That's for a jury to decide. Judge, I'm trying to be a peaceable man. Then get out of my way. I don't have to. You're licked. Licked! What are you trying to do? Bluff me with a pair of deuces? <laughs> if any man moves to help him, I'll shoot. What does that add up to? He dies this way instead of by a hangman's rope. I care how he dies, Judge. Nobody comes to where I am and takes out a bannerman to stretch his neck. Even if he's guilty? That's still my family and my business. Call his hand. I'm calling you, Judge. Shoot him or let him go. Back to your job while you got a job. Yes, Mr. Bannon. Carolyn, I'll get you home. Is this the end of it? Then why did my father die?
How's about somebody cutting me loose? You ought to hang him yourself. He's no good. He's a killer. He killed Ben's wife on the trail. She's a liar. I saw him do it. He never had a chance. Is somebody going to cut me loose? He's my son. If he hangs, I'll pull the rope. No one else. <laughs> You a bannerman. Circle out of range. Get into the town. you to go easy on that boy. You'll have a fair trial. No favors. You better take Amy Lee with you when you go. I set no table for them that turns against me. Thorne presiding. The People versus Thomas Bannerman. 